Hi guys, so hopefully you've been looking forward to my review of the Bang & Olufsen Form 2 headphones. I got mine in Liverpool and they were a really good price, they came with 3 years of warranty. Packaging, it was a bit bare, it was more like the shipping box, there wasn't much in it apart from bits of instructions and obviously the headphones themselves. The first thing I noticed when I got these out of the box is just how lightweight they are. I can just, you can see I can just flip them around really easily. They weigh exactly 86 grams or I've forgotten how much the ounces are. Now I've used these for about two weeks now and I've had quite a number of people walk up to me and say that they really like the headphones but they look really odd. Not in a bad way, they thought that they found the styling a lot different to what you'd normally see and they're right because they're extremely thin, they're squared off and they don't have huge cans like traditional headphones do. That was quite a good point to make. They do have an aluminium adjustment on both sides. Uh, I keep mine at five notches which is kind of in the middle I've noticed that they they do accommodate very small heads and very big heads which is really good I suppose the logo is on both sides now that is different to the um, the older ones the ones made in the 80s had written bang and Olufsen and a red definition line and they had the normal at the back but the 25 year editions like these had them on both sides now the headband does share the same styling, just a very strong straight line. Also, the cable, it's only about a metre long, that's really odd, because these are, I'd say these are hi-fi quality headphones, but when I use them with my hi-fi, my amplifier, it's a bit tight really, because I'm sitting at my desk and the amplifier is over there, and it just doesn't reach very well, so I suppose you could get around that by using an extension cable, but Maybe they've done that so you can um, use them a bit more mobile. You don't have lots of cable in your pocket that's weighing you down. So more on the sound of these headphones, they are um, semi-open design. So if you look, there are um, kind of breathing holes along the backs of the drivers. This makes the sound really open and really natural. It kind of almost harmonizes the background of the world in with the song. So. They're definitely not noise cancelling. You won't get much cancellation noise with these headphones, but they do allow a really natural atmosphere with your music. The drivers are only 30 millimeters, which, to be honest, I didn't think they'd have much more space if they put anything bigger in there, so that's fine. And you can replace the, the foam ear cups, which is fantastic. Now onto the sound of these headphones. Now, it is really impressive, the sound. To give you an idea of what I'm comparing these to, I'm comparing them to the Bose IE2 in-ear headphones and my Warfordale Diamond uh, loudspeakers. The one thing that struck me about these headphones is that the mid-range is really, really warm and clear. Um, it's basically the whole of the sound is taken up by the mid-range in a good way because it's really clear, they've done a good job of that. So that means that vocals and things like that will sound really, really impressive, and violins and things, they will come out of the song and dominate the sound stage, basically. Now going on to the higher range of the sound, it's alright, it's a bit flatter than usual, um, but it does kind of ring out a bit, and because they are open, the, um, the high sounds do flick behind your ear, like, you know, quite a bit. Now onto the bass. Now this is quite an odd feature of these headphones, which a lot of people have been talking about. The bass is all right. It does roll off quite early, about maybe 30, 20 hertz. But when you go to your iPod or something like that and you use the bass booster EQ, normally if you do that with headphones, it would yeah, it would increase the bass, but it would make it really muffled. With these, if you do that it just increases the bass and it doesn't make it all muffled which is really really odd, I haven't seen that with any headphones before. So for my conclusion of these headphones I am very very impressed with them. They are my daily headphones. I do use the Bose IE2 sometimes just because I don't want anything around my head but I would give these headphones 4 stars out of 5. They are really good, Just they are very lightweight making them prone to damage and they do not come with a bag so that is quite a concern. I have been contacted with B&O and they do not supply any bags, they won't manufacture any bags for these. You'll have to find one that fits over the internet or in a shop somewhere. So I hope you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in the next one.